What's up guys? You are watching Gregorio Girls Makeup. If you're new, my name's Shauna. And my name is Devin. And in today's video, we are starting off our Goals and Glam series. Yes. So this is going to be a get ready with me style video, but Shauna and I really wanted to put our own twist to it. So the idea for this series kind of, it literally came about because of the conversations that Shauna and I have on a daily basis just about life and about going after the things that you want and we just kind of decided you know what like we should share this so today's topic of conversation is going to be worrying about what other people think especially what in in the period of time that Devin and i are calling our uncertain 20s so without further ado grab some wine grab a snack and let's just hang out and talk, talk. shall we <laughs> oh, I didn't drink after. I always. Oh, yeah, you can't put it down after you cheers. You have to drink it. Where have I gone wrong with you? All right, guys, so we're not going to be talking about the makeup that we're using during this. We're going to be solely focusing on our topic of the video. Discussion, yeah. Yeah, our topic of discussion. So if we remember, we will list everything that we use in the description box. And if we don't, you can always ask us questions about our makeup if you had. A question about a specific product that we use yeah. to ask us in the comments and we'll answer we'll hang out you. yeah exactly all right so we want this to be pretty cash we've got our wine here we've got a nice little bowl of popcorn mm -hmm. as well and we're literally just gonna hang out and chat with you guys we really want this to be like girl talk or who like it's girl talk between us anybody can obviously watch this video but just hang so Shauna what is today's topic so the topic of the day today mm -hmm is worrying about what other people think. Yeah, so worrying about what other people think as it pertains to like letting it hold you back from pursuing things that you want because you're so worried about like, oh my gosh, what are my parents gonna think? What are my friends gonna think? What are my coworkers gonna think? Like anybody immediately in your life or in the generation that we live in now like anybody that follows you on social media people can see what you're doing right so that's a pretty scary thought and it's something that i struggle with a lot shauna i can't speak for you but i'm yeah. sure it's, it, it's it's something we struggled with at the start of our channel so when you try anything new especially if it's something where you really have to put yourself out there and you're putting it on social media such as starting a youtube channel you know you really need social media to kind of Grow, yeah, to make that happen. Um, so anytime you're putting yourself out there, because we're social beings, it's super natural to, for your first reaction to be like, oh, but what are people gonna think of me? Right, because you wanna be accepted by your peers. Right, one of our biggest fears I have to think of, like I have to think as human beings is being rejected by others and not fitting in, not feeling like we fit in or yeah. people like us, things like that. So that, Dude, I've struggled with that my entire life. Right. And especially in social media, people can be, like on social media, people can be so cruel because they're not saying anything to your face. If they don't have to make, there's like studies that say, we're not, again, we're not psychologists. We're not. Yeah. We're literally just speaking from what our experience has right, been and in our life thoughts. and like the things that we, the information that we have sought out. But right. in no way is this like yeah, scientific. Professional. <laughs> yeah. I have seen that there have been studies that say people are obviously going to be more inclined to be a little bit ruder on the internet or in um, situations where they don't have to make direct eye contact with yeah. the person that they are speaking to or commenting, whose posts are commenting on, whatever. So when you're starting your journey of whatever it is that you want to pursue, do not ever beat yourself up for think for having that thought of yeah. like, ooh, what are people gonna think? Don't yeah. beat yourself up for that thought, but do not ever let what other people think yeah. or what you think they may think it would it's a crime to yes. to hold yourself back yes. and share whatever yes. your passion and your genius is because of what other people may think or yeah. have said or whatever it's a crime to not share your creativity and your passion and your light with the world because of other people that you don't even talk to and that aren't even paying attention to you let me tell you a story really quick yeah. of something that i so i don't remember what the exact like 
research numbers were so don't quote me on like these exact numbers so in one of my marketing courses in college my professor taught us about this study that was done and basically they were just trying to figure out are people really paying attention to us are people really looking at us or watching us as much as we think they are it was just basically like this really high number like if I say to you Shauna how many people do in this room do you think are looking at you when you're walking around grocery shopping or whatever it is you might or at think, the gym yeah That's or at the gym one. you might think like oh my gosh all these people are looking at me like you know 75% of the people are staring at me and I feel uncomfortable and the difference between the number of people that were like actually paying attention versus what the person psychologically thought were paying attention was huge mm -hmm. so the thing is like you put stuff out on your social media you do stuff in your life but in the grand scheme of life people are so focused on themselves we are all so focused on what's going on in our own lives mm -hmm. and that's why it seems so huge when you like say something stupid and it's like so huge to you in your mind person that you said it to <laughs> nine times out of ten doesn't even remember what the hell you said yeah people don't even remember what you posted on social media tying this back to YouTube videos like if your first videos suck if the first thing that you do in any endeavor sucks, like of course it's gonna suck because you've never done it before, but people are not going to remember. You just can't worry so much about putting yourself out there, especially in the early stages, because the reality of it is there's just not that many people listening to you. Right, there's not that many people watching. A lot of our examples that we are gonna use is starting a YouTube channel, because obviously that's our dream, that's what we're doing, and yeah. a lot of our audience, if you're watching this, a lot of you guys are other small creators, right. so we're talking directly to you. Yeah. Obviously, if you're just here because you like makeup and you found us, but you're also somebody that has some type of big dream, yep. we're talking directly to you too. Yeah. When you start your YouTube channel, we'll say, for our example, or whatever, your podcast, whatever it is that When you go out on your big endeavor. Right. Your, your big thing. Mm -hmm. And you're using either social media to promote it or you're just talking to your friends and family about it you are going to be met with people who give you some type of I don't want to say resistance but some type of like skepticism or right something. or they just don't understand they don't understand or they it, question you or they're jealous like you're there's so many different reasons as to why people are gonna kind of give you like this hmm Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is because so people don't understand the opportunity. Also, it's something that's pretty popular that a lot of people are pursuing right now. So people are just kind of like, oh, like the, you say influencer and people automatically roll their eyes. Or you right. say YouTuber and people are like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, Gary Vee says a lot, like there's a low barrier to entry. Like anybody can start, right. but not a lot of people can finish. Right. So. There are a lot of people trying to start and there is a low barrier to entry because literally anybody can log on to this platform, but it's just like what you do with it once you get there. To give you guys a real life example, when Devin and I first started our channel, I was talking about it with just somebody, not anybody that had any important role in my life, but just somebody that I come in contact with every so often throughout yeah. my life. We were, I don't know how it came up, we were talking and I was like, oh, and Devin and I also have like this YouTube channel for makeup, da 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 This person <laughs> was like, Oh, well, everyone's trying to do that nowadays. Th whatever, that's a fine response. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I, I am human, so I was kind of like, okay. But I just smiled and I was like, yeah, well, it's, it's really fun, like we're having a good time. That's really all you need to say. Like I said, I'm human, I kind of got caught up in like, ew, like what? <laughs> Yeah, like, who are you? Like, why would you say that? Yeah. And then, you don't know why these people are reacting the way they're reacting. Again, they may not understand it. Could come from a place of jealousy, and I hate to say that, but some people get a little bit jealous if you're pursuing something. You're really not afraid to pursue something that is a little bit more out of the ordinary. Right, like out there. And something fun, and some people, you know, a lot of people have these secret dreams, and they never just go down the path of being comfortable, mm -hmm. which again is fine to each their own. I'm not saying anybody's path is better than the other. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. It's not about you. I'm gonna give you that cliche line. It's not about you, it's about them. Leave yeah. it with them. The things that you want to do, like if you sit and think to yourself, okay, what is something that I would do every day for the rest of my life if money weren't a thing? Like what would fill me up the most? 
when you actually start to pursue something like that, like that thing is in your heart for a reason. Like that comes directly from your spirit, which I believe comes directly from God. And I just feel like if, if, if you feel it in your heart, that's your spirit and your spirit knows the reason why you are here, like what you are supposed to go after. Yeah. And I feel like we do kind of live in a world where people like the crabs in the bucket analogy, where people just, they want to pull you down. You pushing yourself makes other people uncomfortable sometimes, not all the time. Right. You getting out of your comfort zone makes other people feel uncomfortable because they know they're staying in their comfort zone. Right. Again, not everybody, but just typically the people that have something to say about it, <laughs> have negative things to say about it, like that's their problem and you have to leave the monkey on their back. That's their monkey. It's a hard thing to do and we recognize it and some of you may be experiencing this resistance to the people closest to you, which yeah. is mega hard. And you, you can tell there's people in your life who really love you and might just not understand. They don't get like, well, how do you make money on YouTube? How do you make right. money from a podcast? Like the people that want you to be safe. They just want you yeah. to be safe and successful. But you also may have people in your life, maybe friends, who are just not supportive people. You may have grown up with them, and you're just kind of friends with them because you've been friends with them maybe like forever or mm -hmm. some type of whatever type of situation it is. Those are the type of people I would encourage you just to kind of reevaluate in mm -hmm. your life. If you, if these people are always kind of tearing you down for these great, awesome dreams and goals that you have, reevaluate their existence in your world. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to expand a little bit here, like I am somebody, I know Shauna, Shauna definitely is more like, IDGAF than I am. For me, it's really hard to leave the monkey on somebody else's back because I care about what other people think. And when you kind of mix that with self-doubt and you're like, as it's like, I've been trying to get rid of this habit of like, as soon as somebody else says, mm, maybe that's really not a good idea, you shouldn't do that. Even if I think it's a great idea beforehand, I backpedal and I'm like, oh my God, Oh, maybe this is a terrible idea. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to make yeah. decisions. Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do something else. And you really have to stop yourself in that thought process, like recognize the thought and stop yourself before you spiral down that like vortex of just doom. <laughs> when you think something's such a great idea and you have this burning passion for it, you just can't stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And then someone says, maybe that's not a good idea. And you, not saying that you shouldn't take advice from people that you really admire and really look True. up to, all that good Analyze stuff. Analyze it. The things that we're talking about are very complex issues. They're not yeah. black and white. Like you have to work through these things as they apply yeah. to your own life. But I think there are a lot of general overarching, overarching principles that we all struggle with. So you it's have to- It's the uncertain 20s, it guys. It is, yeah, it is. That's what we're calling it. Anyway, sorry, Access go ahead. Era. So when you, when you give that thought and that person's like, mm, you yeah, it's a good idea. Too much weight in your head. You're basically saying they know me and my goals and my wants more than I do. Who knows you? Better? Hallelujah, Shauna. Preach, preach, so preach. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Preach. And there's nobody in the world that can that can convince me that they know me better than me. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, people, people don't know you as much as well as you know yourself and stop giving them that power over you because it's silly. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It is. It's and when you accept this goal that you have and you are unapologetic about it and you fully step into pursuing it, you never know who you're going to inspire mm -hmm. along the way. And you just never know what people might be inspired to start whatever passion is in their heart with mm -hmm. what they might be inspired to mm -hmm. start pursuing because you started un unapologetically pursuing your what goals. You oh my gosh. Publicly. It's such like, a ripple effect. It is such yeah. a domino effect. Yeah. Like, because on the flip side, what? the negative part is such mm. a ripple effect. And that's why we have the society that we have that's mm. like, oh, Girl. oh, you you little kindergartner, you can, what do you want to be? An astronaut? Oh, that's great. <laughs> and then you grow up a little bit and they're like, what college do you want to go to? What are you going to major in? What are you going to do with that? Where are like, you going to work? How much money are you going to make? Yeah. Like, Where are you going to live? Well, you got you to make sure you get a job. <laughs> So it's I, just, it's just, and then you, you get out of the system, right? You finish high school, you finish college, whatever it is, and you start working and you literally have to learn everything all over again. Like, I'm sure there's people that were like, 
when we start our channel. Oh, they're starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> It'll fizzle out. Um, they'll stop posting. Excuse me. We're still here. <laughs> Shauna and I have really just been trying to live our lives by the philosophy and like the mantra of like live your life literally for you and nobody else and whatever is in your heart is valid and it's something that should be followed and not ignored. That's just such a huge part of our journey and why we are on YouTube right now doing what we love and doing what we do. So we felt like that was just a good a good thing to start sharing on our channel. I think it's something that's so important to share with other people our age especially. So we feel like these topics are very important for us to share with you guys because they're really relatable and nobody really, I feel like, I mean people talk about them but we wouldn't talk about them. I feel like I hear a lot of people who are past their 20s giving advice yeah, to people, in people our age and it's just, I think we, as 20 somethings going through the uncertainty yeah. 20s, need to start having the conversation amongst ourselves. I know I've quoted Gary Vee so much, but I literally love him, but like, ha he always says happiness is the ROI. Happiness is the return on the yeah. investment. So happiness is the return on the investment in yourself. So whatever that looks like for you, yeah. You gotta do it, and if you don't... So, I think that is gonna be it. I know that was a lot of, like, blah! <laughs> but we just have a lot of thoughts about this. So I think we're this is something that we're very passionate about in addition to makeup, and this is something that we feel is important for everyone to at least know and consider and be thinking about. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We do plan on making more videos like this in the future, so if you did like it, make sure you give us a like down below, leave us a comment, subscribe, all that stuff. As always, we love you. Thank you so much for watching and we will catch you guys in the next Victoria Girls video. Mwah! Bye. Love you! Bye! That's what I do on my videos. Okay, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. It's fine. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>